Oh, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play uh, Forge. Last time we finally won a duel, just barely, but we managed to just barely win one. So it, that was quite difficult, but we managed to do quite... Uh, we, like we managed to overpower our enemy. Now let's uh, let's have a bit more fun. Let's play against another random opponent. We'll be playing this time against Spirit Spirit Dick Doctor Queller. That's a mouthful. Yeah, I, I won the coin toss. I'll go first because that's what I want. I'll keep this current hand because it's a good hand. Let's begin. He immediately summons a Mausoleum Wanderer, which is a 1 slash 1 spirit creature which has flying. Whenever another spirit enters the battlefield under your control, Mausoleum Wanderer gets plus 1 plus 1 until the end of turn. And uh, sacrifice Mausoleum Wanderer to counter target instant or sorcery spell unless its controller pays X mana, where X is Mausoleum Wanderer's power. God damn, that's a good card. Why why does that cost only one blue mana? That's so unfair. Let's summon a bitter blade warrior to have uh, an attack, a means of attack. Now he summons an unsettled, unsettled mariner, which is a 2 slash 2 shapeshifter creature, which has changeling, which means this card is every creature type. And it also has the effect of whenever you or a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls counter the spell or ability under its control uh, uh, counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one mana that's not so bad so uh, now he got a plus one plus one because uh, an another spirit creature entered the his uh, entered the battlefield under his control Although, where does it even say that it's a spirit? I don't even see that. Like, this is just a random shapeshifter card. It's not even a spirit. Why does this count? Oh, fuck it. Why do I care? Now he's attacking me with his mausoleum wanderer. I'll just let that attack pass through because I don't want to bother with it. Let's summon a feral prowler. I'll just alpha strike him with my bitter blade warrior without exerting my bitter blade warrior because that would be a waste. Now he summons a selfless spirit, which is a 2 slash 1 spirit cleric, which has flying and also uh, the ability of sacrifice selfless spirit to, to make creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. That's a great ability, god fucking damn it. Let's summon a f another feral prowler. Do I? Uh, yeah, let's keep on attacking him with our bitter blade warrior because we can really. He's attacking us with both Mausoleum Wanderer and the uh, Selfless Spirit, and then he summons a Glass Pool Mimic, which is a 0 slash 0 shapeshifter rogue, which has the rogue creature, which has the effect of you may have Glass Pool Mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types. So basically, he used that with his uh, Mausoleum Wanderer, I guess. And now he summon another selfless spirit. So this fucking sucks. Let's use a cartouche of strength on our bitter blade warrior to destroy his selfless spirit. Yeah, why not? That was worth it. Now let's end our turn. He's still attacking us with his creatures though. Spirit, spirit, Doctor Weller picked spirit. So now he, wait, what just happened? He put down a Cavern of Souls, which is a land card, which has the effects of as Cavern of Souls enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. So he chose spirit. For tapping, add one to your ma mana pool, or for tapping, add one ma mana to, of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be countered. Interesting. Let's summon a bitter bow's sharpshooter, and I think at this point we will be able to counter him more or less unimpeded. We're slowly doing damage to him, but it's really taking some time. Now he uses another spear. Uh, he picked another. Uh, he cast another caverns of swords, and he chose spirit once again, which I don't know what effect that will have. In the meantime, we will summon a sifter worm so that we 
have a better time with our souls and now we got healed for seven total mana which is quite nice yeah i'm really liking this so let's just uh, attack him with our bitter blade warrior and our bitter bow sharpshooter without exerting our bitter blade warrior because that's uh, not necessary at this point now he summoned a spell queller which is a two slash free spirit creature which has flash so he could he could and he did indeed summon it during my turn it also has flying uh, so it cannot be blocked by creatures that don't have flying nor reach and uh, when spell queller enters the battlefield exile target target spell with converted mana cost of four or less and when spell queller leaves the battlefield the exile cards owner may cast that card without paying its mana cost okay interesting so he is in a difficult position now he summons a phantasmal image which is a zero slash zero illusion creature which has the effect effect of you may have phantasmal image enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's an illusion in addition to its other types and it gains when this other when this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability sacrifice it so he introduced that as a fucking copy of my sifter worm. How is that allowed? God damn it. That's fucking terrible. Damn. But either way, I don't think it'll matter. I'll just alpha strike him at this point. Well, this time exerting my bitter blade warrior to give it death touch. He puts down a muta vault land on his side of the field which i didn't think he could do during my turn but again apparently he can mutavolt has the effects of for getting tapped add one mana to your mana pool and for paying one mana mutavolt becomes a two slash two creature with all creature types until the end of turn it's still a land now we have to yeah, this is going to suck. We have to get rid of a lot of stuff on his side of the field. Let's focus on Spell Queller and then on Unsettler, Unsettler Ma Mariner. Ah! He effectively blocked me. That's surprising. I did not expect for that to happen, but apparently it did. Can I see Alpha Strike him once again? How did he block me? Let's get rid of anything that has flying because that's annoying. Let's also get rid of Spell Queller in the meantime. Why did I just. Wait, really? I only. How did I. Did I not calculate that properly? How did that... Wait a second, something's not right here. Let's summon this fucker once again and let's think this through. I don't need any more forest cards. Let's put these at, on the bottom of our library because they're not necessary anymore. Let's think about how we're going to do this because we're, on a, we're in a bad situation. We just lost so many of our creatures while... I don't know what fucking happened. He, I guess, defended himself quite well. He summons now a Supreme Phantom, which is a one slash free spirit creature which has flying, and other spirits you control get plus one plus one. This is annoying, man. He summons a Mausoleum Wanderer once again. Let's summon a Prowling Circle part on our side of the field. I think we'll do just fine, but uh, this kind of sucks. I need more creatures on my side of the field, though. Share weakness, I will keep that in our uh, hand for the time being. He summons a Spectral Sailor, which is a 1 slash 1 creature which has flash, flying, and for paying 1 blue mana and 3 other mana, draw a card. He has a lot of creatures on his side of the field. All I need right now is attacking us with a spell queller. And uh, because it has flying, I cannot block him with my sister wound, but I can block him with my bitter bow sharpshooters. 
and to me to be sure that I can destroy him I will use uh, I will use my shared weakness or my bitter bull sharpshooter to give it an extra boost and he cancelled my fucking effect god fucking damn it this fucking sucks oh fuck me oh fuck he's attacking me with literally everything that he has now okay what do we want to get rid of we cannot uh we we cannot we cannot block his creatures with flying so we will have to God damn, there are a lot of them. We will have to focus on his creatures of, of not flying, and hopefully we will survive. So, this has flying. We need to get rid of his sifter worm with my sifter worm, so that, uh, that just has to happen at some point. Then we need to get rid of uh, his uh, unsettled mariner with... Uh, I guess query ho holler. Then we have to get rid of uh, his other unsettled mariner with my prowling serpo part. And in the meantime, let's use shared weakness on our sifter worm to have it survive that. And we fucking die. God damn it! That was. I didn't get the card that I needed in order to completely destroy him. That was my problem. I just didn't manage to do that. Summons a mausoleum wanderer. Sure, why not? I don't give a shit. Now he summons an unsettled, unsettled mariner. Why not? Let's continue on accumulating mana. He summons a Kira Great Glass spinner which is a 2 slash 2 spirit legendary creature which has the effects of flying and creatures you control have uh, whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time in a turn counter that spell or ability that's fucking annoying and now he's attacking me with everything that he has let's summon a bitter bull no let's summon a giant spider because we really need that right now he summons a Spectral Sailor now, and a Mausoleum Wanderer. Let's summon a Bitterbow Sharpshooter for the time being. Let's summon uh, another Giant Spider for the time being. He summons another Spectral Sailor, and a Phantasmal Image at this point. Let's summon a Sifter Worm to have something to control him with. Iterable Sharpshooters, yeah, this is fine. This is a good enough arrangement. And now let's just uh, attack him. Do I want to attack him? I don't think I want to attack him. Let's move on for the time being. He uh, you know, summons another Spectral Sailor and some other stuff. He's attacking me with, with his Mausoleum Wanderers. Which I don't know if I like. I won't be able to block him easily, so let's just let those attacks pass through. Let's summon. Let's cast an Ambuscade on our uh, Sifter Worm to destroy his... Uh, I guess his bitter bow sharpshooters to get rid of the, them. Now let's summon a bit. Oh, we cannot summon a bitter bow sharpshooters anymore. So let's just end our turn for now. He's attacking us once again. For now, I will not block him. Oh fuck! I should have blocked him. <laughs> this is what I needed the previous uh, the previous uh, uh, game. Had I had riding the dealer horse, I would have just won. But uh, sadly, because I didn't get that in time, that just screwed me. I don't know where riding the dealer horse was, but uh, it just didn't work. You know what? I'm adding more riding the dealer horse because I desperately need it. Where is it? 
Do I not have riding the dual horse? I guess I don't have any more riding the dual horse. And I really need that card. Can't I just buy it? Let's see. Can I go to... to uh, spell shop is what I need, and now let's search for riding. Wait, is it not here? I guess I just don't have it. I I don't have access to it. Well, this sucks. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Metrics room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.